Uh, we talk, we're going to talk about U-Test today. Uh, U-Test is an in-the-wild testing service uh, for web, mobile, uh, software uh, companies. U-Test started in 2007, and 2007 was a very interesting, uh, very interesting uh, year. Can you recall life without iPhone? iPhone, you know, life without Facebook. Facebook started 2006, was be becoming global 2007. iPhone, first iPhone 2G was somewhere around uh, 2007, right? Something like that. So it looks like, you know, ancient history now. Uh, we, we, we live our lives with, with Facebook, with, uh, with the mobile revolution, uh, mobility and social, and, and it, it influences the, the, the technology in a tremendous way, right? Uh, so back then at 2007, uh, thinking about uh, a crowd-based uh, service was something uh, quite a far-fetched uh, uh, idea. I think uh, it was very hard to find uh, funding for that, uh, maybe a crowdfunding, but you know, also thinking about crowdfunding back then sounds <laughs> like science fiction, isn't it? <laughs> right? So we're living in, 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 in an accelerating, uh, you know, things are, are like moving very fast and, and things that uh, are natural now were not so natural back then. So uh, when U-Test uh, was established, uh, Roy had the vision of uh, making better software products by testing them uh, by the people and not in the lab, but in the wild. If we're looking today, uh, U-Test is a leading provider for in the wild uh, software testing becoming industry standard. Industry standard for uh, huge corporates and also for startups uh, uh, starting from Google and uh, mobile carriers like Verizon and AT&T and Facebook and ending up with hundreds of startups working with U-Test uh, uh, today. But let, let's, let's go through some challenges down the road, okay? Let's go back to 2007 and see what's the challenges. So U-Test knew that, that this service must uh, uh, walk on solid ground and since our, our uh, background was from enterprise delivery, top-notch delivery. So we wanted to pack it in a way that you can sell it and also take responsibility on the delivery, okay? So it had to be established over a solid technology ground. So first two years were spent over building um, the, the technology behind U-Test, which is the U-Test platform that is allowing and facilitating testing projects with global uh, testing teams. The second challenge is the people. Now we know that there is a, a huge potential in the world. People uh, have great minds, people have the talent, can do almost anything. Uh, but you know, how can you take people from all over the world and consolidate their work to a delivery, to something that you can uh, take responsibility upon? So it's more like taking uh, the potential for, of, of from uh, the crowd to a community, to a functioning professional community, or even, let's say, from a mob to a community, okay? Something like that. So people that are scattered all over the world, they, are, they don't know each other. How can we take it and make it uh, uh, like something that is working? So, <clears throat> in, in the essence of things, uh, when we talk about it, 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 eventually it is risk. Risk over the delivery of such... Uh, of such a um, crowd-based service. You can take a task, you can publish it to the crowd, and you don't know what's going to happen. Now, in our world of enterprise-level delivery, when we were uh, addressing risk, uh, then we thought about how, how can we mitigate the risk, right? So in most cases, uh, when I was uh, challenged with some risks over uh, timing and uh, you know, schedule or, uh, or finance breach or things like that, the answer was typically, tight management, right? Tight management can mitigate the, the risk. So then we can think, okay, we can build like a triangle of, of like a model of operation. At the base and the essence of this triangle is a platform facilitating and enabling this crowd-based service. And then we should build the community and this community should be very well engaged and motivated, right? and uh, working as a team somehow. And then at the top of this triangle, we can put uh, management tier. And this is uh, 
like a, a, a very important element in the, in the U-test model, that management is, is being performed through uh, U-test uh, employees. Uh, these are the project managers, uh, and, and they like consolidating the service, working with the community, and eventually um, transforming this model to solid delivery, which is used by enterprises today, something that enterprises and startups are relying uh, towards successful delivery of products. And we're talking today about software products, but also about uh, new mobile phones, uh, like sa from Samsung or from HTC, that are also tested by U-Test. Uh, and, uh, and, and lots and lots of uh, uh, critical or um, big business uh, software products. <coughs> so uh, all the social world today uh, is, uh, if, you, if you look at uh, Facebook and Twitter, and the LinkedIn and other social-based uh, uh, services and, and products, they give power to the people, right? We can see it in, uh, in, the, in politics, we can see it in commercial, where uh, uh, today, you know, in Facebook, if something is not working, uh, if a product is not satisfying, that, that very quickly it is in Facebook and people are like gathering and speaking up their minds. Uh, social uh, reality uh, today is giving like power to, to the people. I think that U test is also uh, contributing a bit to this, uh, to this uh, uh, exciting uh, reality today uh, because U test is, is also about like disrupting the, the labor uh, market a bit. Think about it uh, people can sit at home uh, and work and uh, earn uh, quite, uh, you know. Good uh, earning uh, by working at U-Test, and these people can be from anywhere in the world, and they have value for being who they are. You're speaking your language, uh, you have value. You are uh, over 60 years old, in U-Test you have very high value. Um, you have skills that are uh, outstanding. Um, you, you know things uh, around security, or uh, security testing, or uh, UX, you're an expert in those fields, you have value, and you have the way to um, express and, uh, and bring this value to a meaningful uh, arena. Today, you have an alternative when you're working for U-Test or, or similar uh, organizations, but U-Test is really the high-end and uh, top-notch top top uh, service in, in that matter. Uh, you can uh, simply uh, sit at home, and not going with your car, uh, polluting the environment or something like that, uh, and, and work. Uh, we, you have the environment, you have the, the tools to, to do your job, and you can uh, make money and you have, uh, you have uh, value. And I'm also talking about uh, people with limitations and people that uh, typically are uh, being discriminated or, or in different parts of the world where they don't have access to projects, like the projects that we run, if they are relying on the standard uh, labor market. So with U-Test, you can work from uh, Vietnam or Bangladesh uh, on, a, on, a on a Facebook uh, project. And one thing that is very interesting is that you're going to get paid the very same way as your uh, uh, colleague from the UK or from Sweden or from the United States. It's also another interesting uh, element. <coughs> So what have we achieved since 2008 and, and what this uh, journey uh, uh, brought us to? So today we have uh, more than 50,000 people uh, spread across the entire world uh, working with U-Test, for U-Test. Uh, we're doing what we, we're knowing that we do best. You know, this is part of the thing that, that U-Test as a, as a company always uh, focus on doing what we do best and not trying to do things that... Uh, uh, are not, uh, th th have no relative advantage. So we do functional testing, load testing, security, uh, localization, usability. We work with uh, apps. Basically, basically, we're working with apps. And, and another thing that we see today that everyone are becoming technology uh, companies. You have uh, fashion companies like Ralph Lauren. So they have their mobile assets and web assets and they have technology today. And you have uh, like L'Oreal or, or, you know, Walmart, which is the biggest retailer in the United States, but they also have lots and lots of not only IT, but also software uh, apps and uh, web and mobile assets. So everyone are, today must keep up with technology, and U-Test is helping with that. 
We work with all kinds of companies, enterprises, uh, to uh, startups. Uh, personally, I love working with startups. Uh, I love the, the action, the excitement, and uh, see how a startup is growing from, uh, you know, like uh, I, I witnessed it many times already uh, in, in my day job uh, uh, as, as a manager of test in Israel. You see like an entrepreneur living with his mother and father, sleeping on the couch, and uh, like, uh, getting the seed money somehow, and uh, then the company is growing. And, uh, and if they are successful, one day they arrive to our office in a convertible car <laughs> and telling us, you know what? Uh, you're no longer uh, serving uh, the gifts project. You are uh, you're now have a new customer, which is eBay. What an excitement. Isn't it a, 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 a great feeling to be part of such a, such a situation? And, and I've seen it uh, qu quite a quite few times. Uh, so basically, that's, that's uh, uh, the, the reality today. People from all over the world, by the way, in the, in the UK, uh, this is the second, I believe, the, no, it is the third or fourth uh, biggest communities we have. I think in the UK, there is a sense of uh, entrepreneurship or, or uh, at least uh, people would like to have their own business. Uh, I, I, once I heard that every uh, person in the UK has a, a, a limited uh, company incorporated, ready, ready for an opportunity. Is, is that right? <laughs> While also employed somewhere. But, uh, you know, I feel in, in the UK, it, this model is working. Uh, uh, we have more than, I think, uh, 2,500 people here in the UK working uh, with UTEST. Um, and uh, also UK customers, UK-based customers, uh, like the BBC and others that, uh, that uh, TCL uh, can, can tell you more about. And let's take a snapshot of uh, some of our uh, customers. So Pinterest is, is a nice, uh, nice example of, of, a, of a growing startups that, you know, surprisingly you see something that is blooming like, uh, and you're witnessing that uh, from, from a very, very close uh, stand of point. Billgard is a company from uh, Israel. Uh, we, we started with Billgard uh, um, at a very, very early stage. The entrepreneurs came to my home. We sat together and we, we, we had like uh, thinking how UTEST can help this company. Uh, Billgard is uh, providing a service that's scanning your, um, your uh, credit card uh, um, bills and, and like raising uh, frauds and, uh, uh, you know, suspicious uh, charges. It's like, uh, it's like um, an antivirus for, for uh, credit cards. Uh, so, what eventually we brought to Billgard is we brought the USA uh, community, working with them with their genuine credit cards from day one. So, Billgard were working with genuine data from day one rather than simulated data through uh, U-Test. Uh, there are many uh, fascinating stories here. Uh, our biggest co uh, customer today is Google. Um, more than 15 different uh, products today are, are tested by uh, the U-Test uh, testers' sandboxes. Uh, and of course, uh, I mentioned the carriers, the retailers, the media companies uh, that are using not only testers, but also regular people, students, uh, because the nature of testing uh, there is less professional, uh, more of indicative uh, parameters. Uh, so ultimately, it, it has been a, a fantastic journey for us, for us so far, and I think that the future is also uh, uh, is, is uh, bright for, for U-Test becoming, again, from a secret sauce of some startups to uh, an essential ingredient for any release methodology for companies today. <laughs>